Hey guys, in this short video I want to show you how to open the new model Magic 3 from Dafit. It's the Cospit Magic 3 and this is one of the newer smartwatches from Dafit using an NRF 52840 and not like the older versions an NRF 52832. This one also has a bigger screen and they claim to have 280 by 320 resolution but in reality it's just 240 by 280 so it's a fake advertising but it's still a bigger screen than on the older models where it's just 240 by 240. The watch itself is a bit bigger than the older model the p8 is yeah the biggest candidate you may know it has a different uh, heart rate sensor here inside and yeah elsewise it's only got one button and not as claimed here it has that it has two but buttons or functions it is just one button that you can press or not and yeah so this watch can be flashed over the air and within yeah custom firmware it's not developed right now as it's pretty early state so i just want to show you how to open it and how to yeah connect your svd debugger or swd debugger to it to flash it directly if you want so so the plan is or the way is to get your knife inside of the corners as there is many space without any possible damage to the hardware and for that I will remove the band like this and this I will leave on to have a better grip I will use this yeah, knife and put it in between of the plastic and the aluminium case so it's just with a bit of pressure very simple to do so like this and we are now in and then I can pull pull the knife to the side and we can already see that there is good space between the plastic and the case and I can continue by doing so with yeah of course a bit of care of your fingers but yeah just continuing going around the case like this and now it should already be possible to pull it apart without more damage and we have to take care of the screen connector and the touchscreen connector which is on that part so I will now first pull the other side away and you can see how easy it goes without any damage now we can see here the two connector and the light is helping already I'm using a metal screwdriver which may cause some shortage but yeah it should work out like this and now we have the watch apart already. This PCB inside of the watch is an universal PCB they use for many different watches right now. There's also the P16 watch and the C16 or Cospit Rock watch, which also uses the same PCB. And my guess is that is also why the case is bigger than usual. So they just build the case around the main PCB with yeah maybe too much space in between okay so we now have here the four pin connectors and this is the SVD interface and I should have the pin out here but yeah in this case it is rotated like this so you could look at it like this so we first have here the SVDEO, then we have the SV clock, then a 3.3 volt, the third pin, and then the ground pin. So maybe with the screwdriver. So we have ground, 
um, 3.3 volt, we have clock and we have data. So only these four pins would be needed. Um, to reflash it and to debug it, then with a lot of patience you can get the connectors back in and also the case closed again without any yeah, external damage. The only thing happening is that here one little piece of plastic is cut off the back plate, but also not, yeah, it's not a bad thing. Okay, have a great day.